Hey, it's Marco here with my Tesla Model S. Today I'm talking about recharging with 120 volts uh, versus other avenues of uh, recharging your Model S. Obviously there's quite a few out there, but today I'm talking about the 120 volt option. So uh, my Model S is plugged into a NEMA 520 outlet. Uh, the reason I have a NEMA 520 outlet, it's an electrical code where I live uh, in British Columbia, Canada. Uh, to have a NEMA 520 in every single uh, new uh, garage uh, being built as per electrical code. Uh, I also have below that NEMA 520, I have a NEMA 515 and I've tried both in terms of charging my Model S. With the NEMA 515, you get about four kilometers per hour. With the NEMA 520, you get about uh, eight kilometers uh, per hour. So uh, even though there's only about a 25% a difference in the amperage, uh, you get almost double the recharge rate with the NEMA 520. So why is that? Uh, that's because there's an underlying amount of power that uh, goes to powering the computer systems and the battery charging management system. So even though at uh, 20 amps, uh, the Tesla pulls a 16 amps of current uh, compared to 12 amps of current in the 15 amp uh, outlet, it recharges for me anyway at almost eight to nine kilometers per hour versus four kilometers per hour. Also, when I leave this car overnight, I get about 100 kilometers of recharge rate. And then if one day on the weekend I don't drive it, uh, over that 24 to 36 hours, it completely charges up my car. So for my lifestyle, where I drive approximately 100 kilometers per day or 65 miles, I can actually get by quite comfortably with an EMA 520. Uh, so uh, if you go into forms online, it seems like you know the only way people want to charge their Teslas is a NEMA 14. 50, which is a bit more efficient in terms of electrical consumption. But uh, don't be fooled, uh, you can probably get away with a NEMA 520 as well, and the adapter for the 5 NEMA 520 NEMA is available at the Tesla accessory store. That's it for now, Marco.